Law Warrior Online, APL-1M Apollo. Overview. Earthworks Incorporated of Keystone began producing the Apollo when the Free Worlds League military requested a new design for a medium fire support mech. Earthworks anticipates steady production of these mechs for some time, and plans to expand its facilities on Keystone for this very particular design. The Draconis Combine expressed interest in the mech and placed a substantial order in the run-up to Operation Bulldog. Earthworks received additional orders after the counter-assault against the clans and the Combine's conflict with Ghost Bear. The AFFC have also bought small quantities of Apollos, but the collapse of the Alliance in the wake of the Joshua Marrick affair stalled plans to export the design to the Steiner and Davian militaries. In the wake of the Fedcom Civil War, however, both have militaries have expressed a renewed interest in the Apollo. Capabilities The new mech's designers nicknamed it the Mini Archer because they used the Archer as their model for a mech that could offer effective fire support. The new design uses two LRM-15 racks with Artemis fire control and two small pulse lasers for close-in support. The Apollo is lighter than the Archer by 15 ton, so its missile launchers are smaller and it carries less armour. Critics have compared the new mech to the Trebuchet, claiming that the Apollo is a less costly Earthworks knockoff, but the company flatly denies these allegations. Deployment Earthworks continues to produce an unprecedented number of Apollos, meeting current and projected orders. Over the past decade, the Draconis Combine has become the design's largest non-domestic buyer, but the Free Worlds League militia and allied forces such as the Word of Blake remain the primary users. The recent removal of the LAAF and AFFS from the banned sales list has also led to speculation about new exports. Sales to Comstar, the Free Razalhag Republic and the CCAF also remain embargoed, however. Apollos have appeared in units throughout the Free Worlds League militia, but are also prevalent in border areas where they provide additional mobile fire support against raiders. Apollos are serving successfully in fire lances with the old rifleman design as a companion. Field tests show a remarkable compatibility between mechs whose primary weapon is the autocannon. Vulcans, crabs and the occasional Jaeger mech have also been spotted in lances with Apollos. Variants Though the Apollo is now an established design, Earthworks have proven reticent about providing sanctioned variants. Field modifications are common, however. One of these involves removal of the Artemis system in favour of additional ammunition. Another replaces some armour and the small pulse lasers with standard mediums and additional heatsinks. A third change involves downgrading the missile launcher in favour of additional ammunition and medium-range weaponry. Notable Mech Warriors Lieutenant Thomas Chan a member of Operation Bulldog, Chayan became one of the few recent inductees to the Order of the Chain after his valiant defence of Marit positions on Matamoros. Despite losing half of his mech's torso and an arm to an ammunition explosion, used by some analysts to justify the inclusion of Case in the design as well as continued avoidance of XL technologies, Chayan continued fighting throughout the campaign until the arrival of the Ryuken Yon, crushing the Jaguar counteroffensive. Cheyenne retired from the Free Worlds League's militia on medical grounds in 3060, but remains an active reservist, piloting his venerable Apollo, which retains the scars of the clan campaign in various promotional events around the League. Captain Harmony Lear Another veteran of Matamoros, Captain Lear has not had the same public attention as Thomas, but is nonetheless well known in the Free World League military circles. During clashes with the 19th Striker Cluster, Leah staged a series of raids in conjunction with Combine Irregulars against Jaguar positions that may have played a substantial role in the campaign. Unfortunately, the civilian loss of life in, in such operations, attributed by some in the High Command to Leah's efforts to cover herself in glory, have counteracted the successes, much to Leah's chagrin. Ah, uh, the Apollo, yes. Uh, this is another one of those mechs that just adds a little bit to the universe. It, it It's the throwaway line, and many people will just kind of, I, I think we'll just kind of gloss over it, but I love the fact that the writer went to the point of mentioning that there are critics out there who say, but the Trebuchet, quite rightly, the Trebuchet is a 50-tonner that mounts two LRM-15s and three medium lasers. Whereas this mounts two Zeus LRM-15s with Artemis fire control and two Sunglow Prism Optic small pulse lasers at 55 ton. They're very similar mechs competing in a very similar space, but the nice touch is the fact, and again, MechWarrior games very rarely ever, if ever, incorporate this factor, but some designs are more prevalent in different houses. So the Trebuchet is seen a lot more, say, in like Capellan and Davian and... Q 
Curitan space, but very, very few in areas of Steiner and Marek space. For instance, I'm not saying that that is, is the, the 100% fact, but the idea that certain designs proliferate themselves around different parts of space, meaning that you will see a lot of Apollos because they're built in the Free Worlds League by a Free World League company, which means that, yes, they don't have many trebuchets, and they may have used it as a basis, and that's the cool thing. It's, it's that little note of how the different factions have their own style, and unfortunately the games never really communicate that, which is sad, because it would be cool, say in, um, say in, uh, in MechQuarrie Online, in faction play, you're limited in the types of chassis you can bring, because, well, if it's a Davian versus a, uh, a, a Curitan faction battle, you only get these mechs on the Davian side and only these mechs on the Curitan side. It gives you more of a flavor, changes the style of play, because that's how a lot of this works in the Battletech universe. It's not that companies don't just willy-nilly sell mechs. You don't see Zeus mechs from Lyran space, for instance, all over the Inner Sphere. Of course, there are a few captured designs, ones that were basically stolen in transport and sold on the black market. Mercenary companies will have some, but... You won't see Zeus mechs aplenty, say, in Capellan space, just as you won't see ravens all over Marek space. You won't see um, Hatamoto Chi assault mechs in Steiner space everywhere, as much as you won't see victors all over the place from that, because they're all their mechs. And that's the cool thing. So that little knockoff line, or the line, sorry, about it being a knockoff, is great for me. I love that because it's the little tiny bit of world building that sets up that the company of Earthworks Incorporated looked at the trebuchet and went, we're going to, yeah, let's copy that. <laughs> and that's cool. I love that little thing because then, yes, you can have a thing where there's a trebuchet pilot who's like, your thing is just a knockoff. And yeah, mine's older, but mine's a more test tried and tested design. Yours is just some, you know, cheap <laughs> you know, attempt to make something as good as this, and you've, and in my opinion, you failed, blah, blah, you know, this, that, and the other. It's just cool. I like it. I could go on more, but it's probably boring. But the Apollo is a 55-ton Earthworks APL-1 chassis with a DAV-220 power plant, 43 crew, 65 max speed. It's armoured with Maxibillion 44, with two Zeus LRM-15s and two Sunglow Prism Optic Small Pulses manufactured by Earthworks Incorporated on their factory at Keystone. Their communication system is a Neil 6000, the targeting and tracking provided by Garrett A6. Garrett always knows where you are. <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry for just blowing the eardrums out. Um, getting a bit of a dry throat reading this. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, basically a pair of LRM 15s and two small pulls. Beautiful, straightforward. Not bad looking mech, to be honest. Um, never disliked the Apollo originally, and I immediately got the design idea of it being basically a mini archer. It does have a lot of similarities to it visually um in some respects it could have been the basis for what's now the new scene archer for instance so that's uh, quite cool uh, i like that uh, it's uh, again a nice piece of updated art from matt plot compared to the original which itself wasn't awful but the the new line art i think is for the most part superior uh but um this is nearly nine minutes so let's go catch you next time everybody thanks for listening and uh see you next time Bye bye